What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video. Today we'll be camping and boating at the new campgrounds. We'll be bringing the RV with the 25 foot enclosed trailer attached to it, which we will be putting the Yamaha and the Polaris on the inside, which are over here, and we'll be using the Chevy High Country to trailer the speedboat over to the lake. So first we'll be bringing this over, and we just built the campgrounds earlier in the week, so this will be pretty interesting going and using them for the first time. So we'll be pulling out here, and this is one awesome setup. We do have the tow mirrors on this Chevy, so it's easier for us. So we'll kind of pull out here slowly. And I did get a lot of requests to do some camping at the new campgrounds with the speedboat and a few toys. And we'll actually be uh, stopping by the dirt track also. So we'll head over there now. And this speedboat looks very cool on the back of the Chevy High Country. It does almost match the paint color of that. But I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the daily content. I really do enjoy doing these farming sim videos, especially these camping. These are definitely a lot of fun. We get to take a lot of different toys out and enjoy the week or the weekends. So I think we'll probably be taking this turn here. So we'll probably turn here, yeah. And we actually have a new road that we get to go on and everything like that. We'll be setting up at the new campsites. And there should already be some campers and some uh, bumper pull campers already there. Which should be pretty fun. But uh, this high country is doing a great job towing. And if you guys do have any cool ideas for me to feature... Let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely take a look. But we'll be taking this road right up here. It looks like the grass is growing into the dirt road just a little bit. So I will have to work on that. But we'll kind of go down here and take a look at that, guys. We will actually be going by the dirt track, which we might stop by. And if you haven't already, I do recommend you check out the previous camping video where we were at the dirt track. And that was a lot of fun. So we'll kind of go over here. It's a lot easier going to this campsite. But the boat is shifting moving around a little bit especially since it's not exactly strapped down but we arrived here at the campsite you guys can see that there's a lot of campers and this is just a perfect area with dirt roads for us to pretty much pull in and uh, park and everything like that and you guys did request me to build a custom boat ramp so here it is we'll back the boat down and we'll kind of uh, put it at the dock and then we'll go get the other ones and I think we'll do a little bit of boating before we go have some fun on the toys because I mean this is a speedboat we got to have some uh, fun going pretty fast on the lake so we'll back down this and this looks to just be like a dirt area which isn't the best wow it's actually making the trailer go a little sideways there but we'll back down here and hopefully we will be park we will be putting the uh, parking brake on because sometimes it will pop out of gear and actually roll down and we would uh, lose this awesome truck so we got this uh, pretty much off we'll back off this and it looks like we actually have to switch back into the truck and lower the ram sometimes the rams do not exactly lower it looks like they just did so we'll back that off and we got the speedboat in the water guys that's pretty cool so we'll kind of whoa we'll kind of come over here this does have a lot of speed which is going to be a lot of fun now we'll just kind of park this straight on and it's a little bit easier than backing up. We'll kind of stop here a little, little too much speed, but we'll back up. I think right here is pretty good. You guys can actually see, see that it has racing seats and everything like that. So we'll walk back over to the truck and we'll be parking this up, finding a good parking spot. Now we do need a lot of room, especially since we have the uh, 25 foot trailer attached to the RV. But this high country looks awesome, and I do like uh, the new Chevy trucks. They look pretty cool, and I'm very excited to be featuring more trucks in this game. So I'm thinking we'll probably kind of come right in the middle. This looks pretty good here. So I'm actually going to park just like this. We'll be parking the RV right next to it. So we'll leave this right here. We'll switch over here to the RV. I think we'll get this started up. We'll pull forward here. And I believe that the ramp is already down. So that's a pretty good area. And like I was saying, I did get many requests in many different camping videos to put the uh, a trailer attached to the RV. So that's what we are doing it's saving us from bringing another vehicle, which is very helpful. We we'll load this on here, putting the lighter one towards the front. But I mean, this is one very long uh, setup today.
We'll load the Polaris on. And this is only a two-seater, not the four-seater today. So we do have enough room. But we'll put the ramp up, and we'll be heading out here. And like I was saying, this is a long load. And we're actually uh, going to have to watch the turning radius, especially since the back could potentially hit that trailer, which will not be good. But if you guys do have any cool camping videos or any other type of video ideas, drop them down below in the comments. I will be featuring your idea in a video. And this camper is towing this trailer really, really well. And I'm very excited that it is, or else we would run into many problems and have to come back with a high country to tow it. We are driving right by the lawn care shop. And I actually did a lawn care video on Thursday. If you guys would like to check that out, that was pretty nice. But I think that this dirt road is one of my coolest uh, additions to the map because it's a lot easier. You guys can see way up there, that hill is kind of slanted. The road is pretty bumpy. And this is a lot easier traveling, especially when you have an RV, which pretty much could roll over if you aren't careful. So we actually have a dirt track over here, which we might go to. But we'll get everything set up and then we'll actually be going out and having some fun. So we need to take one really wide turn because we'll be parking up right next to this. And this is a perfect area right like this. Awesome, guys. So we got this parked up. We'll just lower the ramps. And uh, I think that we'll, like I was saying, go have some fun on the speedboat. And then we'll come back. But you guys can see that there's a Denali here, which is pretty cool. And there's a... Uh, gooseneck fifth wheel so we'll walk over here to the speedboat and we'll hop on in you guys can see that the uh, campgrounds does have its own dock and now it also has its own boat launch ramp which is pretty cool we actually did build one for the lake house and we have one at the marina so that's a lot of different boat ramps three in total one's a private one and then this one's really only for the campground but let's see it looks like this is pretty awesome pilot view we're gonna go very fast looks like this boat almost wants to drift like the vehicles did back in fs15 but we'll slowly get up to speed as we make our way off the shore take a look at that guys we are flying right now i mean this is pretty fast and uh, that is a little scary, but there is no wake, which is good. Take a look at that. We'll kind of break now because we already made it to the other side. So that's pretty cool. We are drifting around just a little bit, which isn't realistic. Look at that guys, we are flying really fast, and like I was saying, I do apologize for this spinning out a lot on us, but I think we'll go make a trip by the marina and actually by our lake house, but we'll be doing a complete boating video very, very soon, so stay tuned for that, but I think that there's actually a few uh, boats over here, yeah, there looks to be a boat over there, so let's take a look, but wow, this just really wants to spin out lately, I'm not sure what's happening with it, but we'll kind of get up to speed. We are coming in very fast, and there's actually a public beach over here. Look at that beach. I mean, that's pretty cool, and we spin out, almost kind of crashing off there, but take a look at that. There looks to be some people and everything like that, so we'll head back now because I do want to have some fun. Actually, I think we'll probably just drive around and maybe this area and maybe even go to the dirt track because it is open to the campgrounds, and we actually did a whole video at the dirt track last week, so I don't really want to continue to go to that each and every week. But that is fun. Wow, we are spinning out a lot. So we'll kind of come over here and dock the boat up. Now, since uh, we are kind of coming back, we'll probably back it in. We'll put this in reverse. And usually with dual uh, engines, it's a little bit easier to pretty much maneuver. But we'll back this in. Kind of full throttle right there, and we are still moving back. So, I mean, this takes a little bit of while to get... Uh, back and forth especially with the wakes we will be creating so up next we'll be taking the two-seater we'll have some fun in the hills mountains if you would call it before we head to the dirt track we'll walk back over here and one of the biggest features about bringing this enclosed trailer is that if we do run into any bad weather we could easily store it away without them uh, getting out in the rain or anything like that 
So right now, guys, we are just... I'm thinking we'll go to the track first. Since it's right here, we'll just do one lap, pretty fast speeds. And a lot of you guys really did enjoy this uh, track video and camping that we did last week. So we'll only do one, and let's see how much air we could get. Wow, take a look at that. Not too much air, but we just completely rolled this over, and we are now back on all four wheels. So that's pretty good that the roll cage saved us. So I do not want to do too much big jumps like that, because I really want to uh, have some fun on just the overall terrain and not just on the dirt track. Wow, this did a really good job. We aren't exactly staying on the trail, but we'll kind of pull out of here, just kind of stopping by for a quick minute. But now we are just going to have some fun off-roading. I mean, take a look at that. We are already getting air, almost crashing into two trees right there. Wow. The next challenge I want to do is to climb all the way to the top of this hill, even get some air. Wow, take a look at that. Getting some air. Barrel rolling into a tree. That's not really that safe. But wow, look at this. This is pretty cool. It is a little bit challenging to pretty much steer it. We were actually right by the marina side, right over there, but wow, that's pretty cool. So we'll kind of continue down here. Getting some very dangerous speeds, especially with a lot of trees here. So like I was saying, I would like to walk up this area, and I want to see if there's a pretty good view. If not, we might do some uh, clearing of some trees. Looks like there's a view right over there, but we might actually... Uh, look into making this hill taller so that it stands out more. I think that would be pretty cool. But we'll kind of drive back to the campsite and switch over to the Yamaha. Wow, we are going pretty fast, but I really do like these campsites. It's a pretty cool feature, so we'll kind of just park this up right there in between the truck and the trailer. We'll hop in the Yamaha, and I mean, this has some very dangerous speeds. Wow, flying off the trailer we come. So up first, like I was saying, will be this dirt track. So we'll kind of go do that first. Awesome. So we made it over here. We are going to get some very dangerous air. Probably the largest air we've gotten so far. And now we are barrel rolling over. And we flipped it upside down. So we won't be taking that on this track anymore. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's camping video. It was a lot of fun taking that speedboat out and... We got to have some fun on the track and on the off-road. So thanks for watching and subscribe for more.